Good morning, happy Saturday, y'all. So it's Saturday, September 7th, and I'm preparing for our in-person prayer service called Rebirth. And I've been I've been I've been up. <laughs> it's been a long night, but it's it's amazing, y'all. And and so today I just wanted to share um a scripture. I was uh just kind of leafing through my Bible and um, I don't know if you're like me, but mine's very active. I got a lot of sticky notes and, you know, post-it notes and, you know, it's it's heavily, you know, highlighting all the things. I also keep a journal separate uh, for different things. But um, when I was in here this morning, I came across a, sp uh, a sticky note that had uh, five things, actually one, two, three, four things, and then Lord gave me a fifth one this morning, um, just reflecting on you know, uh, little words of wisdom uh, that he inspired. And, and I wanted to share that with you this morning, if that's okay. Uh, again, I'm in Isaiah 45, and there's a verse here. It says, um, I am the Lord, there is no other. Besides me, there's no God. I equip you, though you do not know me, that people may know from the rising of the sun from the west that there is none besides me. So part of the reason, again, that was Isaiah 45, verse five. And part of the reason he gave me these words of encouragement is not just for myself, but it's, it's for me to share with y'all so people will know that he is God. God is God. And and so the first one is the first bit of advice um, as we are in the September months and we're coming towards the end of the year is don't miss opportunities. A lot of times uh, the Lord sends us opportunity. We've been praying and asking him for something and it might not come the way you look. It's not as perfect as you think. Maybe it's coming from people you don't even like. <laughs> and you end up missing an opportunity because it's not coming in the shape or form. Maybe it's not uh, completed. So he might give you an oppor opportunity through an idea, inspire you to do something, You know, encourage you to call somebody. Um, but don't miss the opportunity and always ask God, You know, hey, is this you, Lord? And, uh, and don't also, don't use, you know, I'm a prayer about it as an excuse not to do nothing. Every time, you know, when, when uh, Christians especially say that and I share something with them, and I'm a prayer about it. I'm like, yeah, you're not ready. Opportunity is going to show up and you have to be able to respond. <laughs> so don't miss the opportunity. The second thing is uh, Jesus saw Martha behind the scenes. Now, again, uh, you know, a lot of us, when we're talking about the story of Martha and Mary and, you know, a lot of even pastors, they harp on, you know, you know being present and, you know, Martha was, you know, so busy, blah, 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 and all those things. But I want to remind you, don't miss that Jesus saw Martha behind the scenes. He still knew what she was up to. He still saw her. So it's true that there are times when we have to set aside time, you know, when the Lord is, is showing up, that we meet him there in that moment. But also for those of y'all who... um who are, you have a lot of stuff going on, he still sees you behind the scenes. He still recognizes the work that you do. So so maybe you're um, in your church and you're like, you know, I, I don't do much here. I'd rather just be behind the scenes. And you use that as, a, as an excuse not to carry out the work or you use that as an excuse to, you know, to not do what you're supposed to do. He still sees what you're doing. So Jesus saw Martha behind the scenes. Uh, the third thing is, um, don't let your circle become your cage. This is something I, I don't remember. I think I've, I heard this on another teaching. I can't, I can't remember where I heard it from. But um, So I have a lot of circles, um, sister circles, prayer circles, all kinds of circles, groups. And, um, and, and, and something that he was leaning on me is don't let, your, don't let your circle become your cage. Sometimes we get into these groups and we get into groupthink. Uh, you, 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 you tend to... Um, you know, kind of follow along. I'm a terrible, listen, the only person I follow is Jesus. <laughs> I was built to lead, okay? And uh, even for me, I can't allow myself to have, to get into that group think mindset where you, you're in that same group and you've been with them, same group of friends forever and ever. And all you do is you, you kind of mimic, you become the group. Your environment is that group and that circle that you create becomes your cage. So if you're in a circle, I encourage you to, you know, um, if you're that person who's always pressing forward, you should be moving along. There should be some kind of progress taking people with you that God says should is coming with you, but don't let your circle become your cage. I think the last one I'm going to share with you just came this morning and it's very simple 
and it says, I am. Now, when I first heard it, I thought it, he said, hi, I am history. And I no, I am his story. <laughs> I am his story. I am in the story. Uh, I'm a part of um, the record book of life. I'm a part of the story that Jesus wrote. I am a part of it. I am a participant. I am not uh, an audience member. I am his story. So the work that I'm doing, and I hope this encourages you because if you're doing something and you feel like uh, no one recognizes you, no one sees your value, I'm just doing, doing what I'm doing. Oh, I'm just doing the little things and it's not a big deal. Please stop that. You are a part of his story. So you take seriously when God gives you an assignment. Sometimes the assignment is he tells you, go pray for so-and-so, and, and that's what you do. You're a part of his story. You don't know what that prayer does for that other person, that the door that it opened, the chains that are broken. But I am his story. <laughs> All right? Amen? So I hope that blesses you. Again, I was coming out of Isaiah 45. Just reminding us again, it says, I am the Lord and there is no other besides me. There is no God. I equip you. I equip you. So Jesus, he, he's the one that's equipping us to do the work. And again, don't miss the opportunities. Jesus saw Martha behind the scenes. Don't let your circle become your cage. And I am his story. I pray this blesses you. Y'all, if you're coming out to rebirth, I'll see you in a couple of hours. I'm so excited. I'm ready to go. And I love y'all. Take care. Bye.